Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on September 28th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Dew, giving you a space weather update, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, everything else affecting humanity. We're going to start out here looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, and we do have a couple events to talk about. Large CME and as well as solar flare is on its way to Earth. We had an Earth-directed coronal mass ejection today. Looking at the incoming imagery right now, on the right side, watch that fiery sunspot to get ready to blow out something. Definitely an incoming active spot. North and Southern Hemisphere on our sun. Looking at outgoing imagery here, you can see the large CME taking off from the right side there. Coronal mass ejection, or otherwise a plasma filament eruption. You can see the plasma stretch straight across. Amazing imagery coming out of Solar Dynamics Observatory today. And again, I want to thank everybody for tuning in to the daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. Large plasma filament associated with that sunspot here. And as well, pointing out the large coronal mass ejection, which was in an Earth-facing position. And it looks like we will get a glancing blow. Both space weather prediction spirals are showing a hit. Looking at multi-spectrum here, all of the active sunspot regions, no Earth-facing coronal holes or any coronal holes for that matter to talk about. We are mostly riddled with one, two, three, four, five Earth-facing sunspots. And there's still a few more building in the cresting limb. Looking at 193 angstroms here, most times you can see dark regions, coronal holes, and we don't have any that are visible. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, you can see here that that Earth-directed flare is going to just miss our planet, but it is directed right at Stereo B, a very large coronal mass ejection. And as well, NOAA putting out their space prediction spiral as well. Amazing imagery here coming from that. Lasco 2 and 3 showing the full coronal mass ejection. And you always know when it's an Earth-directed event, when you see all of the action around the disk. This one particularly was all along the right side and encomp almost encompassed the uh, covering disk. So definitely an Earth-directed event, and we're already experiencing some space weather. We're looking at 486 kilometers per second right now, solar winds coming at us, and they were jumped up to about 546 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux remains in B range with all those sunspots. Geomagnetic activity remains average. Aurora forecast for the next 48 hours here. Have a quick look at our Schumann resonance for today. Power of 10. Pretty low power, but we are seeing some activity here in the last couple hours. Nothing major to report. Amplitude of 10, quality of 8.7. Have a quick look here at earthquakes across the world the last 24 hours. As it has been busy, we're looking at about 290 earthquakes across the USGS map last 24 hours. And we're going to start out here in North America as we have seen some a small uptick in seismicity. A couple 3.8s through uh, Markleyville, California, as well as Cholera. 3.8, 5 kilometer depth, three of them as well a 3.5 to report Stanley, Idaho at a 17 kilometer depth. A couple minor earthquakes down in western Texas and White City, New Mexico. Other than that, no major 
earthquakes to talk about across North America. Alaska seeing a 4.0 here at Atka, Alaska, and minor earthquakes moving from northern BC, Juneau, and as well Denali National Park. Very quiet through Russia and Japan and China as of late. So heads up because we have seen a couple deep earthquakes today. 5.2 here in Colonia, Micronesia, 10 kilometer depth, as well as 5.3 Ternate, Indonesia, 33 kilometer depth. And that is the largest earthquake of the day, the 5.3, as well, 4.3 here in Sibolga, Indonesia, close to Sinabung. And here are your deep earthquakes today, south of the Fiji Islands, 4.8, 571 kilometer depth, and as well, a 4.9, 389 kilometer depth. So we can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow, and we haven't seen it yet, so heads up. As well, lots of minor earthquakes here. Pahala, northward to Kilauea. Definitely keeping an eye on the caldera there. There's been about 100 earthquakes the last 24 hours through that region. As well, Pakistan seeing a 4.3 at a 10 kilometer depth. 5.3 here, continuing in Greece as well, a 4.2 here. But yeah, very busy Greece island as of late, just look at the last 48 hours. It started yesterday with a pretty sizable 6.0, 8 kilometer depth, followed by about a dozen aftershocks. So stay safe, heads up, my friends and family around the world. Greece is a rockin'. Get back to the last 24 hours here. Mid Atlantic Ocean, Central Mid Atlantic Ridge, 4.6. As well, earthquakes through Porto, Porto Dominican Republic, 4.3. South America, San Pedro de Atacama, and as well, a 4.3 here, 210 kilometers. There was just another one, so three earthquakes there in the region. Other than that, that is it for the last 24 hours. Have a quick look. The last seven days, a lot of deep earthquakes we've seen recently, and the numbers seem to be increasing over the past 48 hours. The past two days, things starting to pick up. So quick glance around the world at all of the activity. Way too quiet through Japan and China. Lots of activity coming out of Greece. And as well, South America this week. Central America. Definitely keeping an eye on the Juan de Fuca. Cascade Range. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Please hit that like button if you haven't already. Let's have a quick look here. The last or the most recent volcanoes getting updated. Looking at Simru in Indonesia about an hour ago. Semis Napochnoi in the United States. La Palma in Spain still erupting and almost to the ocean. Popo in Mexico, Reventador, Sabincaya, Fuego, Swiss and Ajima, Sangue, Nevada de Ruiz in Colombia. As well, Karamiski, Russia, Era in Japan, Sakurajima in Japan. That's about 14 volcanoes getting updated today. We do have Tropical Storm Sam, Hurricane Sam, who is still a Category 4. It's going to be heading northward to, guess what, Greenland. That's right. We also have Typhoon Mindual, who is a Category 3 heading northward. Looks like it might just graze Japan. Lots of storms moving through India. A couple pretty strong low-pressure systems moving through. One of them is subtropical storm Gulab. Also observing very large low-pressure system northeast Pacific. Heading into Vancouver and BC. Quick look here at windy.com. The next seven days for wind models. Showing tropical storm Sam going straight to Iceland and then Greenland. Now, this is what I was just talking about yesterday in the magnetic reversal video. Please see that video if you haven't seen it yet. We're seeing these dramatic changes, especially in our lower upper or lower atmosphere. With all of these systems being thwarted towards the North Pole. Very large system indeed. Heads up. 
definitely something is up with our planet right now. And it is evident. Let's get to a five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well dailyeventsworldwide.com. We're going to start out here in Ontario, home base, as we do have cool temperatures moving through the week, but it's going to be dry until about Saturday, Sunday. High pressure ridge, cool one at that. And then watch for moisture to be wrapped around that high pressure ridge coming in. Cooler temperatures moving in BC and Alaska this week. Some very large lows coming out of the North Pacific through Russia and Alaska. Going to be dumping a lot of snow through Alaska. As well, warm temperatures through the Gulf fueling through. System heading into the Atlantic provinces this week. Coastal rains through the Gulf building later in the week. And then being sucked up into that northern low through the Great Lakes overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. Five-day forecast showing Hurricane Sam wrapping around the big high-pressure ridge. As well, we have another tropical storm developing in the long range here. But then here's the big picture. A very large storm is heading towards the United Kingdom and most likely will bring some very strong winds and a lot of rain with this system, especially Saturday into Sunday. This weekend coming up, you do have a major storm on your doorstep, most of the United Kingdom and Central Europe. Cold temperatures and winter storms for Russia starting to invade the, the country. Overlooking Southeast Asia and the Indies, two low-pressure systems spinning through Pakistan this week, one through Tunisia and one th north to Nepal. Looking at Tropical Cyclone Mindyul, it will be heading and just grazing Tokyo. Lots of daily evaporation rains through Papua New Guinea this week, Micronesia as well. A lot of rain moving in this week to southeastern Australia. Big low developing there. So it's going to be a wet early in the week, but then ushering away by Saturday, Sunday, and then possible another system moving in. But a very intense line of storms heading there to New Zealand in the long range. Overlooking Hawaii, daily evaporation rains, no major systems heading to you. Overlooking South America, daily evaporation rains heavy towards Panama. And as well, through the border with Argentina and Brazil, watch for storms to develop here. Big low developing. You will see some extreme weather with that system. Overlooking Africa, no major weather systems affecting you this week. Except for the big low pressure system here heading through South Africa and most likely going to bring some really cold temperatures below freezing in some areas. But South Africa definitely seeing a cool down in this long range forecast. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern, pointing out the major systems affecting our planet. Thank you everyone for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, keeping you aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Don't forget to smash that like button, share with your friends, and maybe hit that notification bell and set it to all. There are settings for that notification bell. You don't want to miss an update. Much love, prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.